One, two, three. Testing, testing. Testing. All right. Oh, that's gonna avoid the warranty. Stop making this noise. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy June from June's World. And today we're gonna bring you some behind the scenes at Shadow Six, guys. I got Mike over here, the main builder for Shadow Six. Um, I'm actually part of the team now. We also have Wilson that's not here and Ryan, the owner. But today we are going to be working on the fuel tech system for the Shadow Six Typhoon. It's a very complicated system, but we figured it out. And uh, we're gonna take you on a little journey and just kind of show you you know the little process that we've went through and uh we're actually getting ready to start building the new one too so that's also something that you'll see the next typhoon that's the next typhoon yes so yeah come along Just make sure you like and follow and uh i hope you like what you see let's go <laughs> so we're tuning the typhoon with the fuel tech programming we have two ft 550s so we're just getting all the base stuff set up so we can get all the right data, get some info from it, and make some adjustments from there. Today on Shadow 6 Shorts. <laughs> no, we're not on shorts today. <laughs> that has nothing to do with YouTube. Yeah. We just call it Shadow yeah. 6 Shorts. It's, no, we're on YouTube it's right Shadow now. Shadow 6 Technology Corner. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. We just want to show the chassis because everybody thinks we purchased the side-by-side -side, took it apart and then put the chassis on top of the two stock jet skis which that's not the case at all everything's custom engineer custom design custom built as in this chassis it's not steel it's not stainless steel it's not metal it's titanium it has to be titanium because it's extremely light, it's extremely strong, and it'll never corrode in the salt water, which that's what we have here in Florida. So it's made specifically for this vehicle, and you can see it's really light. So when we pick it up, and it, that's what the chassis weighs on a Typhoon. 163 pounds. 163 pounds. So when people say, oh, it's top heavy, it's gonna flip with, that's not the case. Not that much weight up top, all the weights down below at the water line with the jet ski hulls, jet ski engines, the pump, gas tank, all that stuff. The majority of the weight is below the water line. So that's it. Extremely light, custom made chassis. Oh yeah. Made specifically for us from our chassis company, Race Tech Titanium. As you can see, they do a really good job. You look at the welds. Look at these welds, people. It's all titanium. Beautiful welds. You can see we have our logos put on the front of the vehicle just for us. We have the Shadow 6 logo at the bottom of the chassis. Shadow 6. And the Typhoon logo cut out, but Look at those beads. Beautiful. Can't get those uh, wells done no better, man. I mean, no. can't ask for them better. They are super, super clean. Super clean. And this thing is very light. So it is not a Polaris frame, people. It's, it's not metal. It's not stainless steel. It's not aluminum. It's titanium. So this is the beginning to making that. And uh, this is going to be, what, our first time building this thing uh, pretty quick, huh? That's what she said. That was she said, right? Uh, hopefully, if everything goes planned right, yep. the only thing that takes a little time is building the jet ski holes because they're handmade. Yeah. <laughs> they're not from Yamaha. This time around, we got something special for you guys for these, so you're going to want to stick around for that because they ain't going to look nothing like these skis we have a whole new body style yes whole new body style never been seen before yep be prepared people so, the object is to put this thing together in a couple of months again again <laughs> not like that one that one took about what six seven months i want to say maybe eight months 
But this one also, we were still fabricating stuff on this, so that's why it took so long. Yeah. But that one right there is pretty much our this one's cookie more, cutter out of all this these. More custom because this one has fuel tech, mm -hmm. um, a lot of Baja design stuff, a lot of fuel tech stuff. Because this is our personal typhoon, so it has a lot of extra bells and whistles on it. But this one will be more of a production vehicle where it'll be a little more streamlined. Yes. Pretty much just bolted together and that's it. And if you're wondering about the stick, it's just there to support it because we are actually, re um, we have to install the braces back on there. Fast? <laughs> you go fast? Call somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Mike do it. No, 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 no. You wanna go fast? You let me know. I'll take care of you. Don't cry, Wilson. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Someday I'll have one. Someday. My garage. Uh huh. We'll build a hundred of them before you get yours. Hundred? All right. Two hundred. Okay. All right. Mike is a switch person now, so he can't have one. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> see you, see you, baby. <laughs> see you. Wilson has a see you. Wilson, where is your see you? Goes again. <laughs> Wilson, where's your see you? It's resting in my garage. It's resting? Yes, sir. Okay. I think it's time for it to come out and play. Uh, no? Maybe in the summer. Right? It's too oh, cold it's too cold for June. Yeah. That's right. You're on number two? Yep. Okay. Start going down little by little. One. Zero. One. That's it? That's it. Two up and two down. You're all the way down? Yeah, all the way down. Okay, go up. One, zero, one, two. So it has four stops. Yes. Right? Okay. So you can always match them because you can read the gauge. Yes. That's cool. Now I'm going to put it another one. All the way up. Right? So now they're both on two? Yep. Now put them both to zero. Now put the last one first. Yep. Right. And you can do them exactly at the same time, right? Yeah, I can press both together. Okay. Then hit the reverse so we can watch the bucket go down. Wow. Nice. Perfect. Scene. Cut. <laughs> Mikey, what are we doing to this thing? We're testing and tuning. Testing and tuning. We're checking after our uh, our speed runs yesterday, just checking some stuff, making sure everything's good. And then we're gonna run it again. Running it again. We gotta do some more tuning, get some more speed out of it with fuel tech. Uh, we run it, then they remote log into our laptop, they make adjustments on all the parameters, and then we just keep driving it and make sure everything's good. She's happy. Very happy. Yeah. Lots of tuning going into this thing. And she's we'll, running fast. <laughs> she's, she's running fast. But we're going to let you guys see that here in a minute. Right now, we just got to do a little adjusting, and uh, to the water we go. And this guy, he's just a fiberglass guy. Yeah, you don't want to show what he's doing. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Custom grommet. Custom grommet. Custom grommet. That's what we made. Because you can never have grommets in this place. Always got to have a grommet. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> what happened? What happened? Uh, see if it'll go forward. Maybe. gallon tanks and we just put five gallons in. 